If you are a Lord of the Rings fan and want to talk about scenes within each film that mean a lot to you, let me know. In the extended edition reviews, I will be showcasing you and the love you have for these movies. You can talk about the extended scenes or regular theatrical editions. For further details, DM me on Twitter. The link to Twitter is in the description box. Welcome everyone to Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Peter Jackson's career, we will be talking about his first film, Bad Taste. However, I know that his first film was a short film called The Valley. I unfortunately could not get my hands on it. Bad Taste is a science fiction comedy horror film that is about four guys warding off aliens that took over a small village. The aliens, with all their insidious motives, wish to harvest human beings for their intergalactic fast food franchise. This begins my journey into Peter Jackson's filmography. If this is your first time here, I'd like to direct you to the others I have reviewed. Steven Spielberg, Guillermo del Toro, Nora Ephron, and Ava DuVernay. You can find them on this list and watch any one of them at your leisure. Now, I have heard of Bad Taste and passing through different outlets talking about the film fairly briefly, but I ultimately didn't know much about the film. Up until watching it, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. This is a film not to be taken very seriously, but you do realize Peter really did all that he could within this film, which gives you pause to realize that this is a guy who eventually makes Lord of the Frickin' rings! This movie is hilarious. It's absolutely gross. It's clever, it's gory, and how have I mentioned that it's gross? I've seen big budget films look like this in the millions, so basically what I'm trying to say is... Peter's really a master at what he does. So much so that... The, the New Zealand Film Commission invested $325,000 to ensure its completion because of his talent. So take that as you will. Throughout the film, you can see how you're going to feel about this. And it can go both ways. It, it, either you hate it because it's, it's gross, nonsensical, and almost feels directionless, or you love it because it's gross, nonsensical, and it looks like it seems directionless. Wherever you reside in the opinion of this film, you cannot argue against how well it's made. Now, when I say that, you will find some bad dialogue, bad ADR, some bad editing choices, some frustrating story elements, which we'll get to in a second, and ultimately, the story is actually very, very silly. So you can just be immediately taken out of it every single time. He's the glue that keeps it all together. He goes from funny and clever to gross and gory, which he kind of uses what's available to him that keeps things flowing. You know that this is a low budget film, but he does such a great job at not showcasing that. The frustrating story elements really come down to not really understanding where this story is going to go. You sort of have to write it out to see how it all comes together. For instance, there's a charity collector involved in all this, and he's pretty much the innocent bystander. You really have no idea what his inclusion is except for being something the boys have to go rescue. But he later serves as a plot device to understand why the aliens are here and what they are doing. I, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, this film was actually a lot of fun to talk about, recounting certain events within this film because it's so batshit bonkers. Like, for instance, one of the members of the boys gets his skull cracked open. Seeing a chunk of his brain to the side of him, he places it back into his brain to function better. Or, at least I think that's the ultimate goal. To keep the piece of skull from reopening, he puts a top hat on. <laughs> Only for him to collapse right after that. And it, it got a little frustrating for him. Like, what, what's the point of that? Why did that just happen? He's alive now, but he just fainted. Did he die again? What? What? What is the point to all of this? Why am I following this? A lot of various different things like that happen throughout this film. Sight gags, gross-out humor, slapstick comedy. It has all of this. 
Knowing Peter Jackson and his friends were all in this film really show how much of a good time they all had, but I am pretty sure that there were some serious frustrations over the course of four years making this film. In the end, guys and gals, I really had a blast with this film. It's not to be taken seriously. It's silly as hell, but the director knew it and the story could incorporate it. The prosthetic special effects are remarkable for such a low budget, and you can see where this was how Peter got his start in the movie industry. For that, I liked a Bad Taste and probably wouldn't mind watching it again. All right, thank you all so much for watching. If you have seen Bad Taste, let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.